What's up, Creed? Welcome to your Saturday warm up. We've got three to four rounds in five minutes here, so we're moving quick. We've got 20 single unders or 20 ghost rope. We got five scat push ups, 10 alternating planks, sorry, alternating plank shoulder taps, and 10 tuck ups here. So, with our warm up, what we're gonna do here is 20 single unders, but obviously, if you have a jump rope, you would have a jump rope. We're gonna show ghost rope here, so if you don't own a jump rope, be a good investment to make. Very simple, easy to store, and they're fairly cheap. Five scat push ups down on the ground here. So, right here, think about long arms, triceps flexed, elbows don't bend, we're focusing all in on those scaps here, right in that shoulder area, letting that spine sink to the floor, shoulder blades come together, and then we drive those shoulder blades apart by kind of almost rounding our back, pushing our spine to the sky. The smaller, more structural muscles that are inside the shoulders are what we're trying to work there. Then we have 10 alternating plank shoulder taps, so we'll be in push-up position again, except for this time we're picking our hands off the ground, reaching to each opposite shoulder and driving into that opposite toe as we pick up each hand, all right? Trying to keep our hips closed off and facing the floor. Then we have 10 tuck-ups, so we'll roll over onto our hips. We'll be in that hollow hold position. I'll bring those knees to chest, balancing at top just for a split second, then we're coming back down. All right, and if we get a little tired here, we can place those heels on the ground, and then we come to squeeze and relax. Squeeze and relax, just like that. All right, until we get that core strong enough to progress into a full on tuck up. Saturday's workout. We have an every two minute and a half by seven sets. So it's sort of like an EMOM, but with two and a half minutes instead of one minute. And we go with 40 double unders or 120 single unders. There will also be a, uh, another option for the double unders or single unders if we don't have a jump rope or if jump rope is just isn't something that we uh, are fond of just yet. Maybe we have ankle injuries, knee injuries. There will be another option for us there. Then we're gonna go into 12 burpees and then whatever time remaining in the two and a half minutes you have after those two movements, you're going for max sit-ups, all right? Max sit-ups. Over seven sets, you should be uh, right around, what, boop, boop, boop. 17 and a half minutes, if I'm not correct. I think so, 17 and a half minutes. 17 and a half minutes right there. So there's gonna be some time left over at the end of your workout, which you can set yourself up a nice clock. We're gonna stay on a 10 minute running clock, all right, to make a nice 30, 45 minute workout here. We're gonna try and make some headway on a cardio choice of your preference, all right? If you are working towards your 2021 challenge goals, whether that be the 365 uh, mile challenge or the burpee challenge, this is a great 10 minutes here just to dedicate to that. Get as much headway as you can during those 10 minutes. Um, if you're not doing a challenge though, pick a movement that you're uh, struggling with currently, whether it be a, a strength movement um, or a cardio movement. We're kind of leaning towards cardio during these 10 minutes here because um, you definitely can get a mile in, whether it be row, run, um, or just getting some distance down in those 10 minutes. But pick a movement you either don't like and know you need to work on or pick a movement you like and are working towards a goal with during those 10 minutes, all right? And make some headway on getting better. So that's what we're doing the last 10 minutes there. So we'll show our double unders and single unders here. For the double unders, if you don't have a rope, what we're gonna do is penguin tap. So she's jumping a little bit higher, kind of giving more effort in that jump and she's tapping twice her thighs. She's tapping two times as she's in the air. She lands and then she taps each time twice on her leg when she's in the air. All right, if we could slow this down and do a slow-mo video, I think you guys on YouTube actually have the option of slowing down the video. So, my voice would sound weird, but you can see that when she's in the air, she taps twice, she lands. She jumps again, she taps twice, and she lands. All right, trying to get that rhythm down for an actual double under. Then we have single unders, which would be just a regular jump rope, ghost rope here. Um, we can also do line hops left to right or forward and back. All right, those are our options there. And like I said, I will post more in depth on Wattify for a substitution for our hopping exercises. Then we have 12 burpees. So we're going down to the ground, hands to the floor, feet hop back, we worm ourselves down, then hop our feet wide, make sure they land flat, all right? See it too many times where we hop, yeah, hop our feet back up and we're on our toes, putting a lot of unnecessary pressure on our knees, which we do not need, all right? Use those big muscles that support your legs and support your body. Don't rely on those joints, all right? They don't need to be having all that added pressure to them all the time. Then we have sit-ups and remaining time, so we down on the ground. You can go strict or with our arm throw here. So if we're going strict, we're tucking those elbows in nice and tight, no momentum with those. If we're gonna go with our arms here, we're throwing those overhead and then launching them forward, tapping right under our knees here and getting a little momentum, all right? So if you're going for a longer period of time, I would suggest throwing your arms, but if you only have a few seconds left, let's say 30 seconds or less, try and go strict, really isolate that core. And then on that 10 minute running clock, go ahead, pick a movement that challenges you, that you know you wanna get better at or that you're working towards a goal with uh, and get after it during those 10 minutes, all right? See you, Creed.